worship. I choose to meditate on the Yah man in me. Because the Yah man in me is the hope of the world and is the hope of my life. You know, Holly, last night, Holly, I was feeling uh, very good, very, very energized in the name of Yahshua. Holly, because, Holly, I was thinking about a lot of good thoughts. I love thinking about good thoughts. Amen? Holly, but what caught me above everything else was how good Yahweh has been to me. And I began to meditate, hallelujah, on when I tried to kill myself when I was 19. I began to meditate, if I would have killed myself, I would have never gotten married. If I would have killed myself, I would have never had given birth to my three daughters. If I would have killed myself, I would have never had this ministry. If I would have killed myself, I would have never met any of you. If I would have killed myself, I would have never lived the scene. My baby sister become a doctor. Yes. Hallelujah. I am so happy that the Heavenly Father interfered yes. with my suicide. Yes. I am so happy in the name of Yahshua that when I cut my wrist, Hallelujah, still exists today. Hallelujah. These marks still exist today in the name of Yahshua when I tried to kill myself. Hallelujah. When I meditate in the name of Yahshua that he just came by and pushed me out of the way. How he overrode my will. I am determined not to meditate about anything bad about me. Some of you can't handle this. I'm going to say it again. I'm determined not to meditate about anything bad about me. Because as long as I meditate on the bad on me, there is nothing good to look for. As long as I meditate on the bad on me in the name of Yahshua, the only thing I promise is hell. I don't want to meditate on that in the name of Yahshua. I want to meditate on what Yahweh promised me. And when I think back, Hallelujah, how he made a sacrifice of pushing me out of the way, knocking me out of the way, and saving me. Yes. The same way he saved me is the same way Yahweh put me in your life yes. to disrupt your sinful yes. way. Yes. And I want to be that righteous disruption. But even as I am that righteous disruption in the name of Yahshua, I want you to begin to understand that yes, you can be successful as long as you meditate on it. Meditate that something good is happening right now. Meditate that something mighty is taking place right now. Uh, Pastor Washington, he called me uh, yesterday in the name of Yahshua, and I spoke to him a very, very long time. And um, they, they want me to minister, I believe, in October. And he said, I want to apologize because the other day you called me, I pushed you off. And I said, Pastor Washington, I already told the whole assembly about that. You didn't push me off. Holly, I gave the phone to somebody. You spoke to them for five minutes. You told me you were busy. And I totally ignored that. I said, I came forth with a testimony in the name of Yahshua. And he began to tell me, Holly, that Yahweh is calling you into my inner circle. Amen. Amen. Are you listening to me, son? Holly, and I began to marvel once again. And the good and great things that Yahweh is calling us to do, but Yahweh is constantly reminding me, mind this mind. Christ being in the form and finding himself in human, humanly form, he thought it not robbery. He thought it not. He thought it not. He thought it not. There's something wrong when you can't think something good about you. I want to say it again. You know, What's so sad? A lot of times we have a hard time thinking something good about us. And when we do, we get upset with other people say, why don't you ever say anything good about me? Why don't you ever say something good about me? But actually, Yahweh said to us, why don't you say something good about you? Stop waiting for somebody else to say something good about you. And you stop saying something good about you because the Holy Spirit lives in you. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And you should be hearing something good. Concerning you, and what good thing the Holy Spirit told you, that's what you need to meditate on. That's what you need to eat on. That's what you need to feast on. That is what you need to become. Once again, Holly thought it. Holly, that Greek word thought it means to lead. You listen to me? Uh, you listen? Holly, the Greek word is hegeomia. Hegeomia. Listen? Hegeomia. 
I mean, I pra practiced that pronunciation all last night. I got it down pat too. Hegeomia. Hallelujah. It is spelled H E G E O M A I. Listen to what it means. Hegeomia. You listening? It means to lead. It means to go before. It means to be a leader. He thought it not. Mind this mind, be a leader. Mind this mind, be a leader. Hegonomia, to lead, to go before, to be a leader, to rule, to command, to have authority over. Are you listening, saints? It means to be a governor. It means to be a chief. Amen? It means leading one, or one who has respect or influence. It's time to think it. Think it about yourself. Sing it about yourself. Holly, don't turn here. Proverbs 23, 7 says that for as a man thinks he is in his heart, so is he. What are you thinking about you? I'm thinking on success. I'm thinking on the greatness of Yah. Holly, I begin to meditate that on our praise and worship team, we have two bishops. <laughs> Having two bishops on our praise and worship team, Holly, we should have a powerful anointed praise and worship team. If those two bishops will walk in their bishopric in the name of Yahshua, we will outshine everyone. Yeah. I am confident that in the majority of assemblies, they don't even have a bishop on their praise and worship right. team. We have two. Amen. We have two bishops on our praise and worship team. Uh, we have a bunch of pastors on our praise and worship team. Yes, we should be walking in the great anointing. Yes, we should be walking in the great zeal. Yes, we should be walking in the great understanding. But you have got to have the meditations for success before you get up there. Yes. Are you hearing me in the name of Yahshua? Hallelujah. And in so doing the name of Yahshua, hallelujah, we will see, hallelujah, the glory and the might, hallelujah, that Yahweh has. Listen, saints. Are you listening? Watch again the word says, for as a man thinks he is in his heart, so is he. The word also says in Matthew 6, 21, don't turn here. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Yeah. Understand this. You ready? When you think on something, it brings you into the presence of what you're thinking Come on, saints, this is Revelation 9. I want to say it again. When you think of something, it brings you into the presence of what you were thinking. Enjoy listening to you. If you think on joy, it brings you in the presence of joy. Saints, I want to teach you something. And I was never uh, into love. Because I always view love as hurt. You listen to me? I want to say it again. I was never into love because I always viewed love as hurt. Hallelujah. That it's only the people who love you who can hurt you. So my definition of a man was, Hallelujah, I'm not going to let anyone hurt me. Are you listening to me? Hallelujah. Because I view love as losing control. And that's what love is. Love, you lose control. Holly, you, it's no longer about you. Holly, it's about the person that you love. Amen. So I was determined and very calculating that I was going to do everything I could not to fall in love. And every time I came close to falling in love, I always ended up blaming Yahweh. Are you listening? Holly, and I live, Holly, a great, well, actually, I'm, I'm 42 now. I live my life that way up to the age of 30. Up to the age of 30, in the name of Yahshua, I would not allow anyone to get close to me. Hallelujah. I would not allow anyone to get close to me. Amen. Uh, in my life, I have always had more female friends than male friends. Uh, so, hallelujah. I grew up in the 60s, but I did a lot of stuff. And then I think I could never really, never really good at double dutch. Couldn't do that. Holly had a hard time getting into the role. 